How you doing everyone? My name is Ray Rivera with Boiler USA. I'm the technical trainer and sales manager for the company. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you spending time with us, more importantly, discussing the Viz 350 inspection system. Today we're going to highlight a few of the features with the pan and tilt system. We're also going to do a demonstration on a clean out that's already set up for us. All right, so let's go over a few features for the camera itself. This particular model we have with us today is the Viz 350 Plus. The Viz 350 Plus comes with two cameras. It comes with the one inch forward facing camera that does have LED illumination, as well as the pan and tilt inch and a half camera with LED illumination and full 180 degrees to each side pan and tilt control. To control the pan and tilt camera, simply use the touchpad keys on the camera unit itself to change direction of view. All right, so we're gonna start with a demonstration. We're gonna go into a clean out. We're gonna use the inch and a half pan and tilt camera head, show you the function on the keypad as well as what you're gonna see on the screen during the inspection itself. Also, we get a chance to show you how well the LED illumination works within a small, tight, and dark constraint area. Uh, Cody's gonna come in and give us a hand on guiding the rod down into, with the camera, into the piping, and giving us a good view as to what we're looking at. I'm gonna actually remove this monitor because it does give us better access to what we're doing, as well as what we're looking at. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down into the drain itself and approach the T area where the pipe splits into the T itself. So Cody, if you can go down, so I think we reached the basin right there. And if you leave it right, bring it back up a little, if you leave it right there, you can see a, a kind of a still shot of a little water down there. This is essentially a pipe that doesn't get used very much for anything but there still is some traveling water down there. In these particular instances, it'll give you a good understanding as to whether or not there's a leak from somewhere else that may be uh, traversing into what is supposed to be a dry pipe at that point. From this angle, what we would like to do is begin to use the pan and tilt feature to see if there is an exit and entry point uh, on this particular pipe assembly. So now if you look, we're actually looking downstream uh, of the pipe itself. And from here, we can look at the walls if we need to. You still get pretty good illumination there. And we can scroll back and, and go into the center position where we're at. We are now laying linear to the pipe itself. And I'm going to align the camera head. And if you look, we're actually upside down at this point. The water is on the north side of the screen right there. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to orientate the pan and tilt head so that now it is exactly how we would be viewing it if it was us taking a look at it on our own without the camera system. All right, Cody, see what else we got down there. So with the system, it comes with a 100-foot cable, allows you to give you a 100-foot worth of inspection area. Um, Best practice, obviously, is to find a clean-out in the system that allows you to get a shorter approach into the unit or the assembly you're looking for. Now we're getting into a little bit more water, which is completely fine for this unit because this camera is, is IP rated, it's waterproof, so you're protected. The camera head itself and the cabling. Um, Cody, we can probably go a little further and see what's down there and then give it a... Now we're in some muck, looks like. Now the good thing about this system is that once we enter and we're going vertical downwards, we necessarily won't know how the orientation of the camera head is. The feature that we have on the system is self-elevation or finding it's zero back home. So if we hit the shift and down key, now it'll find its base or zero point in orientation and the aspects to where it's at relatively to the pipe. So now we're at a essentially dead zero location for the camera and we know that this is the downside and this is the top side of the pipe. So as you see, Cody running it through, and we are going to, there you go. So now we're on the water base side here. This is an old piping system that doesn't get used for much of anything. There is residual water there. You can see there is flow downward. Um, it can mean a few different things. It could be a crack in the pipe somewhere, or it can be some kind of vacuum pulling into a, on an open secondary line somewhere else. That can be discovered by using the 100 feet worth of piping cable that we have. Um, and as well as using a locator to find out exactly where that head is at in reference to where we're standing. If he keeps going forward, 
we can actually change the angle of the camera to face the upside of the pipe so that we can see what's going on on the ceiling. And now we're looking at the top side of the pipe. Sometimes you can find things such as black mold, which inherently in a place like Memphis, where it's very humid, you will find often. So we're in the sludge right now. A great function is here, it tells you which angle the camera is currently facing on the top left corner of the screen right here, as well as the distance traveled of the cabling itself, which at this point is 6.16 meters in length. You can also change the function view from meters to yards, and that gives you more of a North American look versus the um, metric system. So if you're in a larger system or a larger piping diameter, you can also use our trolley system. This trolley system is adjustable in height. It can fit in different diameter piping, starting at six inch piping. And from there, uh, this robust piece of equipment will actually help you guide the camera head through the pipe without causing damage because it is keeping it in an encased location here. It has Delrin wheels and a billet aluminum body so it can maintain a good long life of, uh, of use for the system. The other guidance system that we have here would be the actual bristle brush guidance system. This can start at a six inch pipe diameter and it can be cut down for smaller diameter, maintaining center for the camera head itself. Another great accessory that we have for the unit is the external LED system. This is exponentially brighter than the LED system inherently built into the camera heads themselves. This can be put in on either the inch and a half or the inch camera head. All right, so now we're gonna be retrieving the camera head, putting it back in the system. Uh, and we're going to go over some of the features of the camera itself in regards to what it comes with besides the unit itself. And we'll just always give it a good wipe as you're reintroducing the cable back into its compartment. It keeps moisture and debris out. Also make sure that the reel is running at a smooth and effective rate without binding. So a few of the features that the unit comes with in regards to accessories and ports is it has a SD card slot. Uh, it comes with a 4 gig SD card. It also comes with a USB cable, which is also part of your charging system. The USB cable itself can plug in right here and you can do data transfer from the camera down to a PC or laptop. If you have a dead battery, you can also use external wall power with the AC adapter that comes in. And here is the port. It has two batteries. One is a functioning live battery, which is the back and top side. This one here is a dummy battery that is usually should be charged so that when the other one dies, you can swap them out from locations. Now we're gonna cut into the menu. All you have to do is hit the shift key and the up arrow key. And from here, you can do your video settings, your locator frequency, your unit of measure, and your display, whether it's on or off, which display is always gonna be on in this particular unit unless it's being serviced. Your video settings can be done here, which there is up to five video settings. Locator function is on or off. If we put it on, we can now change our frequency to a locator that you may already have with 8.9 and 512, as well as 9.2. You can change your units of measure, feet, and meter. And there it gives you the differences where you can change to. Those are the basic functions that you can do. You can also create your settings, such as your date and time, you can use military time or standard 12 hour time. Now I'm gonna show you how to take the still frames and also record footage of the inspection that you're doing. To take still frames, all you have to do is hit the shift key and the camera. You will notice the icon of the camera came on. To record, simply hit the camera button on its own and now you'll begin to see the recording timer on the top side of the screen. Well, that about wraps up the highlights and features of the Viz 350 Plus system that we introduced here today as well as the demonstration that we did with the cleanout. There are various models of the Viz 350 that also have the pan and tilt such as displayed here, as well as a permanently fixed camera head. Reach out to us at wolerusa.com or call the office at 978-750-9876 and one of our technicians or sales personnel will gladly assist you in filing a dealer or servicing your company with whatever it may need with any of our products offered by Wooler USA.